there it is. All cured, ready for water. A clear capture tray model. And this isn't, uh, this is the first build, so if I do offer these as a special order, it would be the, you know, you know, like Pay Streak Finder Special Edition, Three Foot Riverbed Hog Special Edition. It's not going to be, I'm going to perfect it even better. But let's go get this thing wet and see how it works, shall we? Back at the spot, got it set up, and it looks to be too steep. So before I get going, I'm gonna throw some material on it and see if we can get that that U-shaped plunge pool going in the middle of the capture tray, so you can see what I mean. So I'll get back to you in a minute here. But first, I gotta go get my tripod. Back in a bit. <laughs> it's not doing it, it's actually running really well. But man, is that agitated. Wow. <laughs> I guess. I'll just get to digging. Look at that action in there. Nice. Alright, so this is working absolutely great. I've done two cleanouts already. Um, basically, I've been using it for what it's intended for, the Pay Streak Finder. And what I've done was, first I dug up in there after it just comes around the corner. And there's gold up in there. And then I dug over here further to the left. And, you know, about 25, 30 shovelfuls. Got gold both times. So I'm discovering that there's... I don't know, I'm thinking the chunkier gold is going to be a little bit further this way. So what I want to do now is I'm going to bring this, I'm going to bring this back up to the van and I'm going to get the big gun, bring the uh, three foot riverbed hog down here so I can run, I can run this material over here quicker, see if I can get me some gold for the day. So I'll get back in a little bit. Alright, so I've been running for about 30 minutes, roughly, 
maybe a little less. Where I had dug out further to the right was just in this little area right here. And I've moved it further that way. Did a bunch over in here. And then, of course, this wasn't as far back. So I etched this out even more also. Thirty minutes or less. Nice. Some good sized pieces in there too. And it's mostly chunky. Really, really coarse black sand. This is pretty exciting, especially considering the fact we had this totally cleaned out two years ago, right down to bedrock. And we even vacuumed the bedrock with my suction hand dredge. This is all totally redeposited because of that land that got wiped out up around the corner here. Alright, so I'm up on a pretty high above water, maybe about seven feet, eight feet. And up here there's a crevice that comes across. And this is a dead tree before y'all go get freaky on me. It's it's dead. It's all dry. Completely dead. So I'm not hurting it any. And I did one pan already. And there's there is gold in there. Small stuff, but pretty good amount for one pan. So I'm gonna try to clean this out a bit, see what I get. This will give you a pretty decent perspective of how much the river has changed. Right up there, basically in a straight pattern, is where the river used to come from. Now it's coming from over here around that corner. That, where that tree is, that one single tree remaining on the what we call the point, right there. That was, uh, that was some pretty high ground over there. And it's, I mean, there's a lot of land over there that's gone completely gone as a result of last spring when snow melt came and rains came on top of it at the same time. This got raging. Where I'm standing right now, above water level, I'd be swept away quick, fast, in a hurry. This was all filled right up. Probably up to about there. Above that tree level. I mean, you could see Look at that tree, where it's been beat over the years by logs coming down. So this gets, uh, this gets pretty pissy. <laughs> okay, pulled a, a bit of lead out of there. Those look like bullets that never hit anything, it's weird. Another one up there. That's some chunky stuff. It's not big, but it's really chunky. All right, so I've made my way up on the opposite side of the well, same side of the river I was just working in that hole up on the bedrock. <coughs> but this all used to be a, a major gravel bar up through here. Because like I said, the river used to come from that way. Now it's coming from way the heck over there. See all that? Gone. All that land is gone. Well, we did really good over in here, but for those of you who are new to the channel that have not seen this, <laughs> check this out. That's been there for a long time. That's an old horseshoe. Grown right in. That's really cool. Still there. 
one day this tree will probably get taken out. I don't see any buds on it. But I'm going to poke around over here. Like I said, back when this was a gravel bar and the river was coming from that way, this was a major inside bend. And of course, when water got really high, it used to rip through on the other side of that big mountain of bedrock right there through this little ravine. All right, I'm liking this. That big rock and that big rock came out of there. All that material was sandwiched in between and underneath those two. My first pan, I got five colors, um, 50 plus and bigger, 50 plus mesh. So this is going to be it's going to be fairly decent. I'm going to keep plugging away here. Take a look what I found out in that hole. It's really deteriorating quartz sandwiched in between those rocks in that hole. I'm going to bring this home and get a closer look at it in the jeweler's loop. Pretty interesting. Back in a little bit. All right, so I did a total of four pans here. The first one had five colors, and total, the other three pans brought me up to 37 pieces out of this material here. Well, my back is getting sore working on these stupid waders. Let me get a uh, something to put in there to help the camera to focus. Lighting's not that great right now, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but come on, focus. And it's all kind of gritty, kind of chunky. So there's a whole lot more material here to work. I just hope that a uh, big old storm doesn't come and launch water over here and wash it right out <laughs> oh boy well won't go very far i hope but anyway that's going to conclude today i thank you all all my subscribers and all of you who may subscribe please do and uh, don't forget to hit that like button share and all that good stuff leave a comment I respond to everyone unless uh, YouTube doesn't give me notifications all the time and sometimes I have to go into my creator studio and lo and behold I find that I've got about 20 30 comments to catch up on which greatly dips into my precious time but I do try to get back to you if I'm late I apologize but I'll find you eventually but anyway that's gonna conclude today Green Mountain Gold Trap is Gonna get back across this Russian water and get out of here. Hold it, hold it, wait just a cotton picking minute here. I'm not done yet. I've still got material in that bucket and I didn't show you what I got for a total for the day. So I'll be right back, then I'll be done. Yeah, here's a better look. River was coming from that way, now it's coming from over there. Inside bend used to be, and when the water was really high, this is a major mountain of bedrock here, but it used to come through here when it got really high. So, that last bit in the bucket gave me exactly 10 more pieces. So that gives me 47 out of that one hole. Now, I'm gonna dump out my snuffer bottle into the pan and show you what I got for the day, but I need both hands. Back to you in a sec. All right, here it is. Not too awfully bad for the day. I really hope that's focusing good. Uh, 
There we go. Not too bad. Alright, I really don't want to leave, but I can't deal with it anymore. There's a lot of black sand in there. Alright, gotta go. Now I'm done for the day. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I already said it. Gotta go. See ya.